President Donald Trump tweeted Monday criticizing the New York Times story that said his administration pressured less wealthy countries not to propose a resolution encouraging breastfeeding. The failing NY Times fake news story today about breastfeeding must be called out. The U.S. strongly supports breastfeeding but we don't believe women should be denied access to formula. Many women need this option because of malnutrition and poverty. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, July 9, 2018 According to the New York Times, the American delegation to the World Health Assembly in Geneva tried to threaten and bully poorer countries in Africa and Latin America not to introduce the resolution, which was based on decades of widely accepted research that says mother's milk is healthiest for children and nations should try to limit misleading marketing of breast milk substitutes. The American move was apparently an attempt to protect the interests of infant formula manufacturers. Sales in the industry have been flat in wealthy countries in recent years, as more women embrace breastfeeding, although global sales are expected to rise by 4% in 2018. The resolution was eventually passed, but only after the Russian government reintroduced the measure. Critics slammed back at Trump, the UK's Independent reported. Lucy Sullivan, executive director of 1000 Days, a group seeking to improve nutrition for babies, said the threats amounted to public health versus private profit. What is at stake? Breastfeeding saves women and children's lives. It is also bad for the multi-billion dollar global infant formula and dairy business, Moms Rising, a group trying to achieve economic security for mothers in the U.S., called the American government's move, stunning and shameful, adding, we must do everything we can to advocate for public policies that support and empower breastfeeding moms. Patty Rundle, policy director for Baby Milk Action, told The Times, we were astonished, appalled and also saddened. What happened was tantamount to blackmail, with the U.S holding the world hostage and trying to overturn nearly 40 years of consensus on the best way to protect infant and young child health, Newsfront The New York Times story that said President Donald Trump's administration pressured less wealthy countries not to propose a resolution encouraging breastfeeding was rebuked as fake news by the president. Breastfeeding, The New York Times, Fake News, Infant 345 Monday, the 9th of July 2018, 3.26 p.m. 2018260-09 Monday, the 9th of July 2018, 3.26 p.m. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc.